Hey there, South Mississippi. Chief Meteorologist Eric Johnson here with a quick update on our forecast tonight. Of course, uh, today the big story, two big stories. Uh, one, the much cooler temperatures. Many of us woke up with temperatures generally in the low 50s and upper 40s, breezy north winds. And tonight it's going to be another chilly night. Many areas dropping down into the low 40s, uh, so it will be chilly. But the other story with that fall front that came through a lot of dry air and breezy conditions led to red flag warnings and unfortunately we saw some wildfires break out today so let's go ahead and take a look uh, outside on our tower cams ip casinos one spot tower cam at biloxi you can actually see some of the smoke from that wildfire that's burning in the desoto national forest that fire uh, as of last check i believe up to 600 acres have burned with that. So that smoke is going to linger. So if you live in southwestern or western Harrison County over in Hancock County, the wind is blowing the smoke in that direction. So you may have to deal with that overnight tonight. On the Hancock Tower Cam, you can actually see some of the smoke has made its way down to downtown Gulfport. So uh, that will, if you have asthma or very sensitive to particulates in the air or pollution, uh, you certainly want to make sure your windows are closed. Of course, today was a great day to have the windows open. Make sure they are closed now to make sure that smoke doesn't come on in. Red flag warnings have been dropped. They expired at 7 o'clock, but tomorrow is going to be very similar to today in terms of breezy conditions and low humidity and the dry conditions that we've seen. The winds tomorrow may not be as breezy as they were today, but we're still going to see uh, maybe those criteria getting close to red flag warning again. So the bottom line is if you don't need to burn anything outdoors, just avoid burning altogether and make sure you are mindful of any activities that could lead to uh, wildfire sparking north winds this evening anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour that will persist maybe coming down just a little bit as we head towards early Thursday morning but still 5 to 15 some gusts over 20 at times and during the day on Thursday the breeze again 5 to 15 miles per hour some gusts over 20 can't be ruled out it may not be as breezy as Wednesday but still we're gonna have to keep an eye on that and make sure uh, we are still just practicing safety and using caution uh, when it comes to that. Humidity tomorrow is going to be very low, dropping down into the 20s. So when you have humidity that low, it just makes it easier for fire to spread whenever you have humidity levels dropping below 25%. And you can see as we go throughout the day on Thursday, that's something that we could see. As far as rainfall goes, October is typically our driest month. However, we are below normal even for the month of October so far as of October 16th today. We're running almost an inch and a half below where we should be on rainfall from Moss Point at Trent Lot Airport. And at Gulfport Biloxi Airport, we are running almost two inches below where we should be for the month of October. And looking at our rain chances, really not much rain in sight across the area. We're going to stay dry at least for the next five to seven days. No big signals of a big uh, pattern change, at least anytime soon. The satellite and radar right now is very quiet across the southeast, watching uh, some rain off the east coast there, off the Carolinas. But for the most part, we continue to stay in this very dry pattern. When we look at the water vapor, you can really see the upper air pattern, the steering currents. Notice the big dip in the jet stream across the eastern U.S., that dip in the jet stream is allowing for that cool, dry air to make its way down towards the Gulf Coast. And that's why we're seeing uh, that front that came through and those breezy north winds. So looking outside now in the Hancock Whitney Bank Tower, Kim and Gulfport, 61 degrees. We have a north wind at six miles per hour. Dew points are in the 30s, so that's very, very low. Uh, that tells us that there's not a lot of moisture in the air. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up temperatures generally in the 40s with a northeast wind anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Our high temperatures are going to climb into the 70s tomorrow, so that's still below normal. Our normal high should be in the low 80s. We're going to stay pretty much in the 70s. Look at that. Tomorrow morning, waking up some 40s along the coast. Looks like lower 40s north of I-10. One thing that may keep us a little bit warmer overnight tonight is the fact that the wind is not going to go calm, so we're not going to maximize that radiational cooling. 
When the wind is calm, you have less mixing. And when the skies are clear, you can allow all the heat that is absorbed by the land during the day that escapes out into space and you get temperatures to drop really fast. We're not going to see that tonight because the wind is going to keep the atmosphere mixed up and that will keep our temperatures a little bit warmer. All right, so let's talk about the tropics. Overall, not much going on, at least for the Gulf Coast. Uh, there are some areas that we're watching. We're watching Invest 94L way out in the Atlantic, east of the Lesser Antilles. This has a medium chance for becoming a tropical system. However, it is dealing with a lot of dry air and a lot of wind shear. And for the area in the Western Caribbean, the low chance for developing with that, but it's very close to land and uh, conditions may be more favorable there, but it's proximity to land may be a, a limiting factor. And when you look at Futurecast, doesn't really do much for Invest 94L and over towards the Central America area where we're watching that other tropical system, um, there could be something that tries to spin up over the weekend, but then it moves off into Central America. So right now the Gulf is pretty much closed with this front coming through, lots of wind shear, lots of dry air. Those two things really do a number on any type of tropical system that tries to organize. It's going to keep it out of the picture for uh, the most part, and you can see that on Futurecast as we go throughout the next seven days. Speaking of the next seven days, overall very fall-like for the next uh, couple of days. Lows tomorrow morning starting out in the 40s, highs in the 70s. We are going to gradually start to see our temperatures creep back up into the 80s by Saturday and Sunday, but still low humidity and chilly mornings. It is going to feel quite nice.